Greetings, brethren of the One God, John and Trevor coming to you from the city centre of Norwich, UK, 2nd of May. So it's a greetings from me. Greetings from Trevor. And Trevor's going to open in prayer. Yeah, yeah Father, we thank you for this day and we um, thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for your gift of grace. And always thank you that um, we had a great encouraging meeting with two brothers this morning, um, talking about the church as when believers meet together, where two or three are gathered together, Jesus is there in the midst of us. So, Father, we thank you this day. We thank you for all those who are listening, that we'll have ears to hear, eyes to see, and that your word will fall on good ground and bring forth good fruit to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Uh, we're going to be meeting now very shortly with another brother in the city centre. Uh, going to encourage each other with the, in the faith and, and develop our understanding that we are spiritual beings in a physical body with a soul and we are distinctly three parts in one spirit soul and body and we're talking about the physical body we're not talking about flesh we're not talking about sinful nature being part of who we are before God we are a human spirit in a human body with natural needs of the body, food, drink, clothing, and we have a soul, mind, emotions, and will. So we're praying into that increasingly for everybody we meet, and we want to deal with them, their human spirit, first, above their soul and above their physical needs, in that order. And of course, what we're talking about with whosoever, the flesh sins and the flesh counts for nothing there's nothing good in our sinful nature that part of us the fallen sinful nature the old man which doesn't go to heaven <clears throat> sin has to be dealt with so it's been commented on from the previous video about street preaching and of course we're talking about disciples of Christ in the open air usually in a city centre situation, not always, outside church buildings, outside religion, outside denominationalism, with one purpose, to be in the Holy Spirit on today, the day of salvation, and to preach the gospel. Just like what Jesus said to his disciples then, he says to us now, Go out in twos and more and preach the kingdom of heaven. Preach the truth in love. And there are many people, churchgoers and non-churchgoers, believers and unbelievers, who absolutely hate preachers in the street. For all sorts of reasons, we don't have to go into detail, but you know. And you know whether you personally, as a churchgoer, as a minister, as a believer or an unbeliever, you know personally whether you love hearing the gospel preached on the street or not. And if you don't want to hear the gospel preached on the street, I'm sorry, but that says something about you. Where you are in your form of Christianity which is usually church building based once a week Christianity where people have to come to your church to find salvation what we're talking about again is the church's people Ecclesia the disciples of Christ members of Christ we are the church the body of Christ members of Christ we're in this world not of this world and that can apply to your local church quotes on a Sunday you're in that church building you're not of the church building you're in that church meeting you're not of the church meeting you might even be known as a member of the church but of course you're a member of Christ Christ is your head not the head of the church, not King Charles, not some archbishop, not some pope, 
not some chief priest, chief superintendent, senior pastor, etc., etc., etc. Man is not the head of the body of Christ. If Christ is not your head, you're not in the body of Christ. And if, if that doesn't mean anything to you, you're not born again. It's for you to become born again. Nicodemus. Was Jesus Christ the head of Nicodemus? Well, no, Nicodemus was a Pharisee, a son of the devil. And Nicodemus and his group concluded that Jesus Christ was the Messiah because of the miracles. So within the Pharisee group, the sons of the devil, there were people like Nicodemus and others. And Nicodemus came to Jesus at night for fear of the Jews, for fear of his, quote, colleagues in the Pharisee party of, of religion, in the government of Israel, the quizzling government in collusion with Rome. The government of Rome, the government of Israel, had some unholy partnership to run the country, and that included Herod. So we have the Herodians, we have the Sadducees, we have the scribes, and of course we have the Pharisees. And for some reason the Pharisees seem to be the controlling group. Whether the chief priest himself was a Pharisee or not, I don't know. But Saul the Pharisee was among the number. Was he among the number with Nicodemus? I would say hardly. Because after the death of Jesus Christ, Saul the Pharisee becomes the persecutor, the chief persecutor of those disciples who were nicknamed pejoratively Christian, meaning clones, copycats, robots. But of course, disciples of Christ are not any of those things. We have a free will and we choose Christ. We choose to submit to Christ every day. So I'm not preaching on the street, but I could easily be just talking to the public out there. I could easily get a microphone and a speaker, an amplifier, and, and put this video out as a message to the members of the public. The Word of God, the living Word of God, goes forth, never returns void. We need to pray for those on the street who are genuine preachers of the gospel. They're not recruiting people for their local church membership. They're not asking for money. They don't have any motive other than obedience to God to preach the truth in love. Wanting people to be saved from their sins, from death, from hell, from the lake of fire. And any street preacher who doesn't agree with that, then I'm not sure what you're preaching, but you're not preaching the full gospel of the real Lord Jesus Christ. So let's leave it there. So over to Trevor to close with prayer. Yeah, Father, we thank you once again for your word. And um, we pray, Lord, that as we go forward today in the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would go before us, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we pray that, um, again, that we would bear good fruit today, that you would fill us with your wisdom and grace and patience in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, obedient servants of Christ in Christ. Let's keep obeying Christ. The more you humble yourself to God, the more you want to change, the more you will change. New wineskins receive new wine every new day. Today's the day of salvation. And if you're the seeker and seekers tuning into this channel, you need to decide to commit your life to Christ today while it is today. Read John chapter 3. Ask the Holy Spirit to be your teacher, to reveal to you, to you who the real Jesus Christ is, the only way to God the Father. God bless you. As you obey God, God will bless you increasingly.